Ah, good morning, friends. Today we are uh, having one patient, trans female patient. She has come for the facial feminization surgery. Uh, she had a typical male features in the upper one third of upper one third of the face and mid one third of the face. So and the lower one third. So we have dis uh, divided the surgery in two parts. We, today we are doing in the upper one third of the face. So in the upper one third, you can see typical male pattern hairline M pattern. It is M pattern. Typical temporal recession of the hairline and uh, very high set airline anterior airline and typically broad uh, forehead forehead width which is typical of male and we can see the bulkiness and broad heaviness of the bones of the face like a frontal bossing on the either side and also bro bossing in the medial side and so today we are uh, plan for this patient is to reduce advance this posterior anterior airline further down anteriorly and uh, reduce the forehead forehead width and to reduce this forehead bossing we are planning to lift lateral on that of the eyebrow to give typical feminine facial look so tomorrow we have planned uh, mid in the mid one third and lower one third uh, facial feminization surgery in that we do we are doing rhinoplasty and jawline contouring so this is typically involves all the portion of the face this is how we plan our facial feminization surgery for the trans female Sometimes we also do this procedure in the normal female populations, those who are having typical male features in the face, like bro, bro bossing, eye and anterior airline, very broad uh, facial uh, forehead weight. So in normal population of females also, we can opt this facial feminization surgery to give a typical feminine face. So let's get started. 